Well, let's bring in Helen Sari Ertem, who joins me here in the studio. She's an Associate Professor of International Relations at Istanbul Medinet University. Really good to have you with us, Professor. Firstly, it's congratulations on such a historic milestone for uh, Turkey. Uh, we heard there from Thank our you. correspondents uh, from some of the key cities in uh, the foundation of the Republic of Turkey. But uh, I want to ask you just about Turkey's role in the world at the moment. We know over the century it has become a regional power. Uh, many countries uh, look to Turkey for its leadership. How would you describe Turkey's role on the global stage right now? Well, uh, first of all, I would like to also underline that it's, it's a great pleasure to share this moment with you and with all my nations uh, and uh, all around the, Turkey. And I, I'm sure that many people, especially young people, are quite excited about witnessing this uh, centenary of the Republic. Um, you mentioned uh, three or four big cities that were very influential on the foundation of the Republic. All these cities actually um, represented the strength, the self-confidence and the belief uh, in national unity. For that reason, I think they are very symbolical about today as well, because the, the most important part or the most important uh, future for, for a state is its nation and its national unity. And it's really wonderful to see that the, the nation is together, unified. Uh, we have gone through very difficult eras in the past, uh, the many crises, foreign policy crises, internal crises like coup, coup attempts. For that reason, I think it is a success history. It's, a, it's about a success story uh, today. So from now on, I also I think that it's very influential to, to focus on future as well. In the last uh, couple of decades, we, uh, we also saw that Turkey's self-confidence increased to a great extent due to some <coughs> very significant uh, features, like uh, trying to strengthen our national uh, defense uh, capacity, uh, try to increase our uh, word, say in, uh, all around the world, especially in the United Nations, that we all know that in the last couple of years, We've been mentioning about uh, the uh, very important slogan that the word is bigger than five. For that reason, I think Turkey has a special um, a mission uh, to, to represent, especially those nations and states which are not very well represented or equally represented on the world stage. At least we know that Turkey has a uh, very strong belief that all these nations should have an equal say. So uh, on paper, Every state is equal. We know that uh, the, the, we, we are still going on this Westphalian world order in which we, we keep expressing that all nations are equal, all states are equal and sovereign. Uh, however, when you look at the practice, there are lots of inequalities. So Turkey especially underlines a, a, an important um, mission that it has to be the voice, the, the, the word of those nations and states which are not uh, well represented. And the uh, same thing we can see about uh, the Turkish attempt to regulate, or at, least, at least to reform the United Nations uh, structure, like uh, creating a different structure in the United Nations, especially UN Security Council, to represent more nations, at least to, to a better extent, let's say. So there are different things that Turkey comes forward, forward uh, I guess we can call these um, areas as niche diplomacy areas, like uh, being a, a strong state regarding humanitarian aid, uh, regarding mediation attempts, rega regarding creating security and peace rather than creating problems around the world. So I think Turkey comes forward with, with all these uh, very unique, very important characteristics. Yes, and Professor, looking ahead there, the Turkish president in his brief remarks in Ankara a moment ago was looking forward to the second century of the Turkish Republic. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot can happen in the next 100 years. Sure. But what does the future hold now in terms of Turkey's role in the international community? Well, looking at all these crises which are coming one after the other, like Ukraine crisis, like uh, the Palestinian-Israeli crisis we are having at the moment, I think we are once again seeing that the world is changing, especially the um, 
voice of Global South is increasing, and Turkey is among these Global South countries. And I think it will have a unique position regarding its um, uh, geographical position, regarding its uh, hybrid identity. In my point of view, this hybridness is a strength because we are at the conjuncture of different continents and different um, identity characteristics, let's say. We have people from the Balkans, from, from the Middle East, from the Caucasus. So it's, it's a strength in my point of view. But the most important thing is that we are coming all together under the same flag, under the same nation, as a unity, as a, as a unity which believes in, this, in, in, in the same future, in the same vision. And I think this we can call as our grand strategy for the future. And in the next coming century, hopefully Turkey will play a stronger role uh, at the global stage. And I don't think that in this position, Turkey has to choose either the West or the East. I think we will have a unique position that we can have a third way, which is your unique way. You know, it's the combination of everything, but it is with a vision, with a strong vision and self-confidence.